So, uh, my name is Vadim, and how just he said, I'm a full stack uh, uh, web application developer from Madrid, and I'm going to talk about uh, how to deploy uh, your development environment and few commands. I usually work uh, with LAMP development um, environment, environment. which is basically uh, an environment on a Linux. Uh, as you know, I think that we all, all here know what, <laughs> what is a LAMP stack, yes? Of course, so <laughs> we just, yes? <laughs> so it, <laughs> it's an environment on a Linux operation system with uh, an Apache web server uh, with my MySQL MySQL uh, database and some server language as uh, PHP, Perl, or Python. So let's start with deploying. Uh, we start dating our uh, advanced package tools to have the latest versions of our, <coughs> our software. <coughs> then we start installing Apache. After the installation, we want to see if uh, the patch has been installed correctly, so we run uh, the service patch status to see if it's correct, if it's active or running, and if is there no problem. Then we check if the un uncomplicated firewall has created a profile for Apache pool if appears on the list. And also, we must check if the, the ports are enabled to listen for, for traffic on our local host. Uh, and now that we have our server ready, uh, we need to install our database. Okay, it's one command and we don't check it. Uh, once we have the server and the database, uh, we need to install the server-side programming language. I choose PHP because this is the main stack which with which I work all days, every day. Uh, so, execute. We uh, install the Apache. Uh, sorry, the PHP, and we create a. a info file with this command php info to make our test. So we open our local host in the, the five, in Firefox to check if it works, if, if all the, this installation is okay. So now we have our LAMP uh, stack installed. We need to get some cool and pretty dark editor as Visual Studio Code. So we install it with an R command. Uh, and now with all the tools, we need to get our, our project. I use git uh, Git repository, so I st uh, we started Git and uh, then get the project from GitHub where you or other servers where you have this this project. And now with the project, uh, with all the environment deployed and your project uh, on local. Now we have, we want to open also in Firefox and on your code editor. So uh, I open it both at the same time to see the results, to see what we got. Uh, every time I do this deployment, every time I'm in a new project, it takes me about 10 to 15 minutes because always I search the, the code lines 
I don't remember them and I don't uh, put it down in a file and save them. And I waste um, this 10, 15 minutes with all the project. So I, I thought, is there a better way uh, to do this, to do this thing, or an uh, optimized way to do it? And I searched um, a little bit on the internet, and I found uh, a Docker, which is um, a tool that creates con containers for your uh, deployment <laughs> Sorry. It creates a lightweight portable containers for software application, uh, which you can deploy in any operating system with the same configuration. It doesn't matter uh, when which computer you are, and it's ensured that you will have these com uh, components in all uh, your devices. So. I start, uh, I install it, then I create a com Docker Compose file where is all the configuration of this, uh, this container. And uh, as we can see, we have some configuration like the version of uh, the configuration file, how is, how is the format or which is the format of the configuration. Then we declare our, declare our services and uh, we declare the images that we will use from Docker Hub, which is the main thing that we need to, to uh, deploy our, our container. And uh, And also there are more configuration. I, I didn't get in detail because this is not the main, the main uh, thing of this presentation. And uh, once I have the configuration file, I finally deploy the environment with the common Docker Composer app, which uh, takes all this configuration and uh, uh, makes our uh, environment, our container. And as you can see, I tested on the new uh, port, which I declared in the configuration file, and I still have in the, the game running. <clears throat> uh, as you can see, with one file and one command, we done the, all the deployment. We don't need the, the other commas. We don't need to check all of uh, if, if they are installed OK or not. Um, it's very easy. Uh, <clears throat> so I thought, but is there a way to also automatize the installation of Visual Studio Code, the installation of Git, getting our project from, from uh, uh, a repo, open it in the editor and open it in Firefox, and also deploying my environment. And I want to do all of that in one line. So how can I, can I do it? Well, <laughs> he's boring. <laughs> he stopped. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> I can explain without yeah. the. If. Too much effects. 
No. Oh, I think that he keeps going when I was clicking, but the the image first. Uh, go to sixteen, please. Sixteen. Yes. No, no, sixteen. <laughs> that one <laughs> stacks. <laughs> <clears throat> Thank you. So what I thought is to make a little script, a little script bash file called deploy, and also I make uh, two uh, directories, one which will contain the Docker configuration file and the one for the logs. And this, and after creating all this structure, I uh, granted uh, execution um, permission for the deploy file. Then in the Docker configs uh, folder, I copied the Docker compose configuration file and I renamed it to PHP 721. And also I make a copy and uh, inside the configuration I change the uh, image disk, uh, image yes, to have different versions because sometimes uh, a project requires the older versions and all the stuff. And in the deploy uh, script uh, file, I put this uh, little code. So First, I declare the, the, some var variables. How is this in English? Variables? Variables? Yeah. Variables, yes. Thank you. Uh, which, will, uh, over, which will be override uh, when I get the options. Uh, you can send uh, D for version, R for, R for repo, N for name. And <clears throat> then, I have a function which will uh, check the version configuration. If you pass uh, a version that is not in the, in the uh, Docker configs uh, folder, it, it will stop. Uh, then I have a, a function to get the project. This is uh, when you pass uh, a, a repo. Uh, URL for a repo. If don't if you don't pass a repo, it don't uh, pull the project. And then I check the version, uh, get all the things installed, and finally I uh, stop all the other Docker containers if there there are someone, some some yes, uh, and open. In Firefox, open the code editor of my project and also uh, deploying the environment. This, so as you can see, I, I can have the same result as of the beginning with one line command. Uh, you can also uh, deploy the environment and open up uh, uh, one file. Uh, if you don't want to get the repo, if you don't have a repo, and if you want only to work with one file or one project folder that is in local uh, deployed. Well. <laughs> so, um, in conclusion, we waste too many times doing little things that we think, ah, it's, it's five minutes, it doesn't don't matter, but you do it one time and again and again and again and it's get bigger than the waste of time that we have day day uh, day uh, at work at different project this this thing i is boring for me to do it always when i get a new project and many in many uh, companies they don't have a docker uh, a docker uh, uh, configuration then they'll have all this automat automatized and they put a computer in front of a new worker and say, 
oh, just deploy a lamp uh, or install this uh, one server so you don't I mean, you waste 30, 40 minutes, one hour because there are other things in the computer that makes you difficult to install all the things correctly. And I, I say don't uh, be lazy, just do it. You do it once and you will, uh, will, uh, ahorrar, <laughs> will, hmm? will save this time. So, that's all. Is any question? What I choose? I, I choose MariaDB, but uh, it depends on which project, project I work. I don't like <laughs> all the stuff that they, they have chosen, <coughs> and if I, need, if I have to work with this, I work, uh, it, it doesn't matter for me. Uh, you say, you ask me why did I choose my, my square? Oh, this. The problem. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Any other question? No, I I need to upload it. Uh, and you you want to borrow uh, my script or? Uh, No, no, it's not. It's not online. It's not online yet. Okay, <laughs> it's a very simple script. So I will, I will pass you now my GitHub account, and this uh, afternoon I will uh, put it online. I have a, a, a laptop where I have installed, I have my Ubuntu. In the desktop, I virtualize it. And if I'm at the office, I, I have Windows. I, <laughs> they, Ah, I, I didn't. I didn't try it. <laughs> I didn't try it. Oh, so it's, it's interesting. Uh, it will be amazing if if it works uh, fluid uh, with all the stuff that I do daily. Hmm. 
because I need to, to add office. Uh, many companies don't have uh, many resources and they give you a, a old computer. That, so I need to, to, to be fluid all the time because uh, it, it gets me angry when I, I need to stay one minute wait and one minute to compile one file. It's, it's insane that so if uh, I can work with this workaround of Ubuntu inside uh, Windows, it will be amazing because uh, Windows, <laughs> I <laughs> don't like it <laughs> very much. <laughs> Thank you. So, so what? Sorry.